It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports, where London will play host to a different kind of football. It's the Dolphins and the Jaguars, and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a Week 6 matchup for you here between the Miami Dolphins and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Jaguar team. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game? In these types of situations, you're looking for someone to inspire you, and it doesn't have to be one of your best players either. After the fumble recovery, it's Brady. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. He's going to air it out for Dorsett. And this one dropped in the end zone. Uh, looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect it. So after the INT, it's Brady rolling to his right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Right there, Chenault for the Jacksonville touchdown. LaVisca Chenault, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be... carry here for Robinson oh look at the juke and a nice job to break free of one tackle but it slowed his momentum somewhat and he's taken down right after give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down now he'll try to run with this and he will lose yardage here back to his own six that's a big loss of three and it brings up third down Now Brady, going for the deep ball. He's got a man complete. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Jaguars. LaVisca Chanel, 94 yards. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, and this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched. Off 
to start it out. Robinson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. The numbers in last week's ball game for Robinson. 14 carries, 91 yards, and a touchdown. Well, this is where it becomes a challenge for the offensive coordinator. He's got a bell cow at tailback right now. Number three in the league in rushing within shouting distance of the, of the lead. But at the same time, if the passing game is open, he's got to take advantage of that, too. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And it goes down. But that's what he had to do more defensively, not just getting sacks. We had to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving him up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. They'll run on first down. It's Robinson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And got his man complete. And all the way down to the 29. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. That's once again complete to Chark. Touchdown, Jaguars! DJ Chark with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead here in this first half. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team... Now ETN to start the drive. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'll run here with Robinson. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he is going to have a Jags first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. So that is all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. He's going to look deep now for Landry. And that is incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. On second down, it's Robinson. They're able to push forward for about four down of the 37. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. They'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both large. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. 
Picked off, Byron Jones. And a great return as he takes us up just shy of the 45. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So, when... They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going to go up top again. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. James Robinson with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Jaguars are pouring it on. Now Brady, dancing to his left, and he takes it in, touchdown, Jacksonville, a nine-yard touchdown run, and the Jaguars continue to roll. The defensively, it didn't seem like anybody had eyes on the quarterback, and he took advantage. So you think that maybe we're seeing some pretty good instincts for a young guy? Because that's the thing you worry about coming out of college. You're used to getting away with just about anything you want to do. You're just superior. Here, he has to read it, figure it out, and know. On first down, Robinson. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. Jerome Baker, Dolphins' leading tackler in 2020, in on the stop there. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in week six. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And at we now proceed. First down, it's Robinson, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down, three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Robinson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Now a pass hauled in downfield. Touchdown, Jaguars! DJ Chark, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Jaguars are pouring it on. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and move. First down, 
It's Robinson. Shoves him away. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 46 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Brady now to throw. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown. DJ Chark. 56 yards. And the Jaguars continue to roll. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. They'll run on first down. It's Robinson. And some room to run now. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. James Robinson, 99 yards. And the Jaguars get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. The CD, I mean, there are touchdown runs, and then there are touchdown runs, and that one certainly fell into the latter category, and that deserves a couple exclamation points. And there was so much that was impressive about this play, but it wasn't just what he did downfield. First down, Robinson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. The Jaguars on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. There's Chark with a great grab. Touchdown, Jaguars! DJ Chark, 66 yards. And the Jaguars are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. And sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And you think on third down, they'd just be looking for something. They'll run on first down. Robinson into the secondary, past the 40. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They run the counter. It's Robinson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll go option to the short side. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. And sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion. And I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw 
He saw defensive end right in his face because he looked under pressure and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Jacksonville, their strong start to the year continues as they're up to 5-1. and one. And now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, the losses are piling 